Right then guys, here we go. For an afternoon bagging on the river and I've decided to bring the pole out for a change. This peg's absolute full of dace and roach. The water's really cold though, so I don't know how they're gonna react to a bit of feed, but we're gonna find out. It's an absolute beautiful September afternoon and I thought we'd just come and enjoy it before winter gets here. We're fishing like the most simple rig you've ever seen in your life. I've got this two gram Maver pencil float, six pound line, one and a half gram Olivet. I'm gonna put a little bit of shot on just when I get going in a minute, just when I actually figure out what the crack is. Four pound duck length, size 14 B560, couple of maggots. Can't go wrong. We'll just have a... Have a first cast. Let's see what the crack is. I'll have one run through. See if we can't get a bite and we'll go from there. Absolute beautiful September afternoon, man. We're just making most of it before it all goes peak tong in about a couple of weeks. And all the rain starts and all the rest of it. Wallop. First cast. First cast. Have that. Have that. Roach, first cast. And there we go. Pretty bulls fell into the river. Beautiful fish. We're gonna smash a few pound of them together over the next couple of hours. You watch, man. Ground bait wise, I've got this sweet, light coloured fish meal ground bait absolutely perfect i'm gonna ball a couple of balls of that in i like to keep because it's all sand this i like to keep it sort of the same color at the bottom i've got half a pint of uh emp and i've got about a pint of maggots all right i'm just gonna get the bait going in as regular as we can Fish up on top of it. We're gonna to have to fish hard because it's like six o'clock and it gets dark early. So I'm gonna to have to bag up as quick as we can. Oh, just got wet. Oh. Flicking her out there. I'm fishing. I usually use, I used to fish a two pound duck length on this, but kept getting like raked off by decent fish. So I stepped it up to, there was a fish straight away. Stepped it up to a six pound mainland and a four pound duck length just to try and ensure some landed fish. It's like the worst time of day for this because I've got the sun beaming off reflection from the other side. Steadily going through, which is absolute perfect for this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of shot on it. I can't see a thing, man. There's a dead fish. There's a bit of fish. I'm dragging them out of water. That. <laughs> Until we start getting into those better ones. Burla. Oh, I'm easy gonna put a few pound of them together. You watch. If we can start getting those better ones going, I'll be happy about that. Should we just make like a a full 40 minute video with no cuts? I never make videos like that, so I might just give it a whirl. You know, it's on that already. So many fish are down here. The mullet maggots. Come on. Mullet maggots already. And that was just there. Go on. About there every time, look. Look at that. Every time. Oh, look. Oh no. Oh, Roach. 
Beautiful fish. Have you swallowed it? I'm gonna sit, look, they're all the same sort of stamp. I'm gonna sit here for the next couple of hours, an absolute bag off. Luckily, when, it, well, when I got here, there was a guy fishing. Didn't catch his name, actually. I'd specifically been and bought some maggots from tackle shop, but I've left them all in the van. And all the white ones have died, that's all my maggots there. He's give me a pint of maggots when he left. Because I told him all mine had died. <laughs> Nightmare. Ah, oh, I thought there was a fish on there already. Go on, we need that breeze to sort of stay off. Regular feeding. Away, man. I keep the sun keeps like as it's going lower, it keeps hitting different windows and blinding me. There's another one, bumped it, bumped it. Still got the bait on there. This is sort of place where it does not matter if those maggots are mashed because there's that many fish kicking about. They'll eat anything that you put in front of them. So anything you put in front of them, that's a bite. Go on, go on, there you go. Every single cast, every single cast. That's a bit of a better fish. Perla, Perla. Getting a little bit bigger. Right, I'm just gonna stick a bit of well, I'll put some maggots on, and I'll put a piece of shot on here. Walla. That'll get mashed. I'm going to throw a ball of ground bait in for now. See how they react to that. Don't like to fill it in because I find that they don't like it usually, you know. Emp and maggot over it. Pulls dried out. I can ship it out properly. Oh god, that sun beaming right in my eyes. It'll be gone in about 10 minutes, but for now it's driving me nuts. Has that dipped the float down a bit? Yes, absolutely perfect now. Absolutely perfect. They're going to breathe on it and I'm going to know about it. Every time in the exact same place. Right about there. Go on. Yep. Oh, I bumped it. Bumped it. It's littered with them. Absolute littered with them. You could quite easily put ten pound of fish together if you worked hard. It. I'm only going to be here for like two hours until it gets dark. But if you put like five or six hours into it, it's ten pound of fish. Good days fishing, man. Great days fishing, and I find that that's a better fish, miles better fish, taking laggy off us. I find that um, is this going to take a net? Uh, decent roach, decent roach. They're the roach we want, man. If we can start getting into them, start getting into them, my boys, right there. We are gonna put a weight together, aren't we? What was I saying? I've completely forgot what I was on about. No idea. Anyway, two more red maggots. I'm gonna sparsely feed them, you know. There's that many fish out there. Get them frenzying. Get them fighting against each other for a bit of fit, for a bit of bait. That's when we'll start proper bagging. I mean, we're proper bagging at the minute, like, because we've had a bite every single cast, which is perfect. 
Right there every time. Every time. Miss that one. Miss that one. This is such a simple... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, I find fishing the pole is so much more productive when you're doing this because you can instantly connect with them like that there, but when you're sending the stick float down, there's too much line in between you and the float, so by the time you hit the fish, it'll disappear. How am I missing? Now I'm saying this and I'm missing fish, but it's definitely the case, believe me. Believe me. You'll miss like every, like five out of 10 fish if you fish the stick flow, whereas this, you'll hit pretty much every single one of them. Every single one of them. Wallop. One after another. This is a decent roach. Decent roach, look at them. We're easily putting, I'll put 10 pounds together in two, hour, two hours, never mind five. Perla. Red maggots, find you fish them red maggots, you get the better fish. So I'm not really putting much baiting after them, just a little pinch of maggots and castor, maggots and emp. Every other cast. Send that pole out. Look, I've got another one on straight away. Look, it's full of gudgeon down there. Full of gudgeon. Is that another gudgeon? Yep. It's like determining where you actually put the bait determines what fish you're gonna catch. Got that for a beautiful gudgeon then. Right under my toes, it's full of gudgeon. Right under my toes. And then you go a bit further out and you get into a roach. So I don't know where the days are yet. This is one of the only pegs I've ever fished that's full of day. Like this. Bang. Every single cast. This is the sort of fishing you want to get involved in though, because it's productive, do you know what I mean? Wallop. Wallop. Wouldn't surprise me if they want some giant pike round here just because of how many little fish linger. Look at the rate we're catching them. One after another. I'll, tell, I'll send the exact same worms out, a little bit mashed, and watch us get a bite straight up. Straight up. Oh, look, before I've even got it out there, I've got a fish. Can't get it out for him. It's like fishing River Y, man. There's my first dace. Dace, yep. First dace. Perla. Perla, nearly went back in the river. Beautiful. Told you I'd get a fish on them mashed maggots, man. All up. All up. To be fair, there's been times I've been here and not had a single fish for ages. You have to sort of get them going, but we're just here today. Time for another little pinch of maggots and emp. To be fair, this will be a, be a decent video because you'll just be able to gauge on doing it all, man. It's probably a smidgen faster with the rod and reel, but this is more productive. So it's like two or one and one or other. Got that little dink there, it bumped off. Good. Good. I want the bigger ones. I want the bigger ones.
find them, don't you worry. See if I can find a couple of casters out of there. And we'll try a caster, but then, see, it's all coming back to me now. Walla. I remember fishing the casters and the bites slow down massively. They don't tend to hit them casters as much as the maggots. I uh, will stick to maggots. I want to bag up, man. Should we try a couple of these dead white maggots that I brought? Suffocated them all, didn't I? By accident. Try a couple of them. There's a smidgen bit of life in them. See if we can bag some on them. I always find they're not as productive. So we find out right there. Right there. Wallop it. That'd have been walloped twice now if I had two red maggots on there. Go on. See? It's gone through it, look. I don't like them. I like that bit of movement. Go on. Not even bothered about them, look. Whoa, I've got one anyway. I'd have had one a lot faster if... I'd have had the red maggots on there. Oh, it got off, how about that? Swung round the pole and popped off. Right, alive red maggots. Alive red maggots. And bad boys there, uh, look. Boom. Another little ball of ground bait. It's a real dry mix. Though I haven't wet it much at all. Wipe that out over there. That dry mix is miles better because it breaks up miles faster in water and the frenzy of at top of that. I'm going mad for it. You watch how quick I get a bite here now. And I'll put the alive red maggots on. Wait for it, wait for it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Don't show me up, man. Don't show me up. Walla. How about that? Ooh, a light, a bit of laggy on it, you know. Dragging them out of water, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, we're absolute sacking. I'm going to be knackered after this, you know. Knackered. I've only fished a couple of hours. Minimal bait going in as well. You don't have to pile that bait in there. Well, I'm saying that because I know there's a lot. Look. What's, what have I got there? What have I got there? Something's hit it on the way out and it's taking laggy off a little bag in. That's crazy. Perch has hit it before it's even gone anywhere near out there. And look at that for a decent perch. Don't believe it. Bang. Best old perch. I didn't even get halfway out there. Let's put the mashed maggots on. Leave the mashed maggots on. Give that a go. It's littered. Yeah, I'm saying you don't have to spray loads of bait at them, but that's because I know there's loads of fish in front of me. If there weren't, I'd probably put a little bit more bait in, just try and get them going, because once the once they sense a bit of bait going in, they'll they usually come up to it. Look at that. Look at that. 
They're not overly massive, but I'm happy with them. More than happy with them. Every single cast. If you had like a float fishing match on this river, you couldn't put this peg in it because it would just be a flyer. Absolute flyer. And you'd win from it every single time. I've been sat here in winter, right, and almost died from cold, but been bagging. Like, and I've never felt cold like it. And then I keep seeing posts online at the minute, like, yeah, winter, um, autumn and winter's on its way, cosy season. Cannot disagree with those people anymore if you tried. Because to them, sat at home we're eating on. Fair enough to me, sat out here. Minus whatever. Risking my life for a few fish. It's not that enjoyable if I'm honest. And I spend my life outside. So I'm praying for a mild winter this year. Hopefully. I'll take a mild winter me. You know. Fishing will be good. Look at that look. Look at that. That's another decent perch that looks. Taking a laggy off us. Done now but ship this ball in and out. Another perch look. Walloped it on the way out. You've never seen as many fish in one peg in your life. Oh my days. And of course guys you can get all the pegs in the book. The perfect peg contains over 40 pegs. That we've bagged up out of over the last couple of years. It also includes places to park. How much it costs to actually fish the places and a good 75% of the pegs in the book are completely free to fish. Some of them aren't, obviously, but the majority of them are because I'm a master of free fishing, man. And that's what we want. Bagging. Oh, oh, I'm twanged right off, you see. I think I'm bumping them because the lag is too heavy, actually. You know, that's the problem right there. We're bumping them. Go down a couple of laggies. And we'll be even more productive than we are right now. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I won't be able to talk after this. Should have got a bit more bait in there actually. Really, look how it's just. If it takes more than three and a half seconds to get a bite, there's something wrong. Which it has. Bit more ground bait. Another ball of ground bait. Go on. Go under. This is only run through, we haven't had a bite. What's going on? Is that gone under? Walla, missed it. Missed it. They're in a cloud in the sky. It's an absolute beautiful afternoon. I'm in a t-shirt as well, whereas what yesterday's episode there was a good centimetre of um hailstone on ground man. Bump that one. Bump that one. This run through, go on. 
We don't get one on this run through. Oh, walla, missed it. Ball of ground, bait. It's that dry, I can barely make a ball out of it. It might be too dry, actually. Nah, that's about right. That's about right. Now look, it all broke apart as it went in, and that's what I want. That's what I want. Bits and bobs. All up. Here we go. Bring that back out there. Oh look, there's one on it. There's one on it. Can't believe I ain't had a bleak yet. That another dis. Dis. So if I go like right in my right under my toes, good gin. Bit further out, um, dis. Bit further out, roach. That's crazy. Should we try one maggot? One big old fat maggot there, look. That might be the reason I'm bumping them as well. Imagine how productive we're going to be by the end of this video. I haven't float fished for ages. And I just thought we'd have a change. You watch this fly under. Walla, missed it straight away. And again. And again. Straight away. Straight away. Wallop. Wallop. Decent roach. Best old roach. That's what we're going to have to do. One maggot. One maggot. If you can get your taco shop to give you the big fat maggots, you're laughing. And it goes for like any fish you're trying to catch. The big fat maggots are the way forward. Watch this wallop straight under. Go on. Go on. Go on. I could probably dot that float down a bit more, but I won't see it. That's the only problem. Not another window's blinding me now. Not eight different windows blind me. Yep. Beautiful roach. We've probably got a decent bag of roach on go already, you know. We have to have a decent bag of roach on go already. How many fish do you think I've had? Eh? I haven't counted them like, but it's a few, isn't it? chance to sink through water and I had a nibble and I had a nibble they start to slow down that's a better fish they start to slow down after all like the bait the bait wears off so I'll throw another bit of bait in now and they'll come back the ground bait especially this sweet fish meal ground bait absolutely perfect for this job and it's like I say if you can match the colour of the ground bait to the bottom of the river or lake or whatever you're fishing I think that's ideal just because then it's not an anomaly is it it's the same colour they won't know it's there I'll just smell it
Yeah, you know, it's gone all over the river like that, but that's fine. That's fine. That's no problem. That's what I want it to do. Oh, this might be like an hour long episode. A bit longest episode I've ever released. I don't know what longest episode I've ever released is. Probably about an hour. If you're still watching, thank you very much. <laughs> because we're still bagging at least. At least you're getting entertained. Stay, stay tuned to the end and we'll have a look what fish we've caught. We'll try and gauge your weight. Like the only way I'd do this for five hours is if I was in a match because I've had enough. A three hour mark, I'd have had enough. My arm will be knackered. And then it stops being fun, you know what I mean? It's always fun, but I'll be in pain. <laughs> Go on, go on. Yep. No, oh, I bumped it, bumped it. It's took the bait, it's took the bait off the hook. Took the bait off the hook. How about that? Biggest, fattest maggot you can find. There's like a caster there, shall we try that? We'll have one cast with that like caster thing there, look. And just watch how... ...longer it takes for a bite. It doesn't have any motion. I think if I was just feeding casters and then fishing caster over the top of it, that's the only way you can do it, but you can't feed maggots and fish caster and expect a lot of bites because it just don't work like that. They won't have it. They will not have it. Be one fish every five put throughs and that's not what we want. I want to fish every put through. Wallop, there you go. But though the only split side to fishing the casters is you do get the better fish. Like that there, look. Cut that for a decent roach. Beautiful fish. Swallowed it. Perla. Perla. Racking them up. Racking them up, man. If you've got TikTok guys and you don't support me on TikTok, go follow me over there because we're about to smash 100,000 followers on TikTok, which is absolutely crazy. I never imagined having 100,000 followers on anything, man. And we're about to do it. And there'll be a big special episode for that. So stay tuned. Subscribe over here if you don't have TikTok, it's fine. I know my YouTubers are uh, slightly older generation, which is fine, that's fine. You just keep watching on YouTube, all good. We get one on this put through, man, let's have it. Wallop, did I bump it? No, we got it, we got it. See how long we've well let me just unhook this fish and we'll see how long we've been fishing for. Already. One hour exactly look. One hour and forty seconds. And I've bagged up. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on into dark. And I'll see you there for the way in. Here we go for last gas look. Can barely see it float now. Come on. Let's be having you. It ain't gone through once without me having a bite. 
Not once. Let's get this last fish and we'll have a look at what we've bagged, man. Couple of bits and bobs we have. Decent a fish among them. Got a fish. Yep. There you go. Easy as that, man. Light work. Light work. There you go. Boom. And that'll do it. Let's have a gander at these fish, shall we? He's bagged up as the lad. It was a nice change, I suppose. At least we just didn't sit there for hours on end without a bite. Good bit of productivity, wasn't it? A good few pounds, eh? For an hour and 47 minutes, that is absolutely perfect. Burlers. That was an hour and a half, that. That's an hour and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate you going down below, smashing that like button. Also, maybe consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next episode.